Okay, I think we're pretty good. I should just, let's just start it. <clears throat> Hello, Piglet. Hello, Pooh. I thought uh, we'd try and read to you today. We actually tried right in this spot a number of months ago, and uh, the uh, audio failed. And uh, I have a uh, fleecy hood and noise canceling um, headpiece, earpiece. Uh, so hopefully, uh, in concert with the relatively low um, speed breeze, we'll be able to be heard, and we will get to read from you, for you, a little Winnie the Pooh. Yay! Okay? So we're going to read. This is a um, from a series called Lessons from the Hundred Acre Wood. And this is uh, book four, and it's called Home Sweet Home. It looks like there's 18 books in this collection. <clears throat> it's nice to visit places and play with friends, you know, but I can't wait to hurry home because someone loves me so. That's uh, just like a little introductory one very sunny day just like today Rue went to Rabbit's house they worked in the garden all day long and had a wonderful time picking carrots lettuce and tomatoes but when it was time to leave Rue didn't want to go home oh that's right I guess you did not you want to sit over here Rue Oh boy, here you go. Is that okay? Good spot for you. Oh! Why, Rue, said Rabbit, Kanga is waiting for you. You don't want to be late for supper, do you? Rue didn't care. There's nothing to do at my house, he complained. I don't have a big garden like yours. Rabbit listened as he put some vegetables in a basket for Rue to take with him. It's getting late, and I'm afraid that Kanga will worry. Let's go, Roo, Rabbit insisted. So Roo took Rabbit's hand, and they left for home. Thank you. When they got to Roo's house, Kanga was waiting for, oh, we just had a uh, Bob leap out of a tree. Did you want to hear this part, Bob? Here we go. Maybe just sitting here with us is going to be a little bit safer. When they got to Rue's house, Kanga was waiting for them. Oh, Rue, she said, hugging him. I missed you. I'm so glad you're home. Rue didn't answer. He just sighed a very big sigh. The next day was Monday. Kanga thought it would be nice to take Rue over to Owl's house. Rue spent the whole day listening to Owl tell the most amazing stories. Soon it was time to leave, but Rue didn't want to go home. Tut, 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 young fellow, Owl insisted. It's important to listen to your mama. A reluctant Rue hopped into Kanga's pouch and left. Do you remember that? Yeah. On Tuesday, Rue went to Pooh's house. Oh, this is about you, Pooh. This part. Here you go. You want to read along? Well, I see you're staring at the honey pot. Yeah, that's your favorite part of the story, huh? On Tuesday, Rue went to Pooh's house, where he played a little game of musical chairs with Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger. <laughs> you guys are both in this part. Here you go. After supper, Kanga appeared at Pooh's door. Come, Roo, she called. Time to go home. There's a drawing of them all dancing. 
Five more minutes, Mama, Rue called, going back to play. Kanga spoke up again. I'm having fun, Rue sighed. I don't want to go home. When Kanga gently insisted, Rue said goodbye to his friends. What's wrong, Kanga asked Rue on their way home. I like playing at my friends' homes more than I do at my home, he explained. Well, said Kanga, let's see what we can do about that. On Wednesday, Kanga invited Rue's friends over for the day. She wanted Rue to see that he could have a good time playing at his house, too. First, Rue asked if they could bake cookies. What a good idea, Rue, Kanga said, getting out the ingredients. Soon, the cookies were ready. <laughs> well, you can't eat them, Piglet. They're just drawing of cookies. Well, I see that there's a drawing of you eating cookies. Yeah. Do you remember those ones? Were they good? These are the best cookies I've ever tasted, Piglet said. See, I was just asking you that. <laughs> Next, they had a wonderful time playing with Rue's toys. They took piles of blocks and stacked them up to the ceiling. Pooh's stack kept falling over. Oh, Baba, he sighed. I'm not very good with blocks. Hoo, 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 laughed Tigger, making shorter stacks. Let's see who can bounce over these blocks. Of course, it was Tigger, because everyone knows bouncing is what Tiggers do best. Next. They painted lovely pictures. Mine's a rainbow, Piglet said, admiring her work. Mine's a honey pot, overflowing with scrub delicious honey, Pooh announced, licking his lips. Everybody's arting here. Everybody's spread out and arting. When they were finished, Kanga took Rue's paint box and lined up all his friends. Then she painted a star on Rue's cheek, a butterfly on Pooh, a flower on Tigger, a heart on Piglet, and a balloon on Eeyore. What's that, Eeyore? Yeah, of course this part's about you. I'm glad you came out. See, there you are. Gee, little buddy, said Tigger, looking in Roo's mirror. I've never looked better. Thanks, Mama Roo cried. You were the best. Kanga smiled happily. Her plan was working. After that, Roo and his friends went outside to play a quick game of hide-and-seek. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo, Tigger cried. Ready or not, here I go. When they were thirsty, Piglet and Roo made fresh lemonade. What should we do now? asked Roo. Kanga, would you read us a story, Pooh suggested. Do you remember asking that, Pooh? Oh, did you raise your hand to ask? That's very polite of you. Of course, Kanga said. When it was time to go, Pooh and his friends didn't want to leave. They were having too much fun. Do we really have to go? Go, Eeyore asked. Kanga had an idea. Would you like to stay and camp out under the stars? She asked. Can we really, Mama? Rue asked, overjoyed. Of course you may, Kanga replied. What a wonderful day it had been. And from that day on, Rue knew that he had the very best home of all. Thank you for helping everybody learn such important lessons and stories. Do you want to come join us, Bob? There you go. Yeah, yeah.